welcome back to my channel if you're a returning subscriber thank you for spending your precious time here on my channel thank you for the support i appreciate much but if you're new you are welcome i talk of relationships fashion beauty and life experiences in general so please subscribe today and now <laughs> today's video guys it is going to be a story time again and today's story you are going to laugh a lot because i've been giving you sad stories and i don't want you to be sad guys i just want you to be happy and laugh but i know you enjoy even the sad stories so let us start our funny story of today <laughs> so guys this story is about how i almost got scammed by my neighbor <laughs> can you believe guys <laughs> This neighbor was a man, he was living in a place where I used to live and one time he asked me my phone number, I gave it to him. The reason I gave him my number is because I was working in a marketing company, I was a marketing officer, so guys, you know, I used to give my phone number to a lot of people. So I gave him my number because he wanted to purchase something, but he never actually came to my office to purchase whatever he told me he was going to purchase, but he had my number. And the other reason I gave him my number is because there is a time as a lady, you reach that you are able to defend yourself. You are able to tell a man straightly if he wants to play or just want to say that he wants a love relationship, you know, men. So that time I was big enough, I was old enough to tell him straight that I don't want. And if he had disturbed me a lot on the phone, then I could just block him and it ends there. So that is why I gave him my phone number for as a client. So guys, this man, after some time, he shifted from where we lived and I did not know to where. And I remember it was a Sunday morning. I was seated on a couch, chit chatting with my friend. My phone started ringing. And when I looked at it, it was this neighbor calling me. I received the call and immediately I thought he wanted to purchase my products. <laughs> but it wasn't the case. Uh, he told me, I asked him, ah, where do you live right now? He told me, uh, right now I am living very far away from the wrestler, the place where I was living and I am working as a tour guide, I'm working in a game reserve, you know in Tanzania we have a lot of game reserve guys, a lot, a lot, a lot and he was working with tourists, so that was his job at that point, that is what he told me. So he told me that the reason that he called me, he wanted me to help him with something. I told him, what is it? You tell me then, I will help you, no worries. He told me, uh, you know, I had a sister who lived in Dar es Salaam, the city that I lived. Uh, she used to help me with this business that I want you to help me and right now my sister is living in norway she went for studies so i think you can help me replace her i was like oh what kind of business he told me that uh he has these tourists they're interested in buying prongs this prongs is kind it's a type of seafood guys so he told me that they are interested in that. They want 200 kilos of prawns. And he told me they wanted white prawns, 100 kilos, kilograms, and red prawns, 100 kilograms. So he told me that there is this guy that my sister used to communicate with. He sells 
these prawns so i want to send you his number so that you can call him and organize everything so that he can pack everything and when we arrive everything is ready i am far away i cannot organize that so i want you to help me organize that but don't worry because you are going to get some money with that so it's kind of like a business I was like really how he told me that uh when these tourists takes these prawns uh the remaining money like after we have paid the man who who gave us the prawns the remaining money was supposed to be three thousand euros but he told me I will give you only 1,000 euros just for the organization of that business. I was like, oh, okay, that's fine. So I told him, no, no worries, you send me the number. He told me, yes, you need to tell him to make it so fast because it was around 10, I told you, but he told me around 2, they will be in the city and they want those prawns immediately. So I told him, don't worry, it's okay, I'll do it. So guys, I was really happy after talking to that man, neighbor, and I even started thanking God. I was like, oh God, thank you so much. You really work in a mysterious way that we cannot see. I just woke up poor, but right now I am going to be rich. 1,000 euros within a few time, within a few hours, out of nowhere, boom. <laughs> So I was happy. <laughs> I was happy for that deal, guys. Very, very happy. <laughs> and I told my friend, my friend was like, yes, that that is a lot of money in just a few hours. Like, yes. So he sent me the number and he told me <laughs> the name of that man who sells the prawns is called Muhammad. <laughs> so so I took the number and I called Muhammad because he the, the neighbor told me that you need to ask him first if he has the prawns. That is the question you should, you should ask him so that we can know if he has the prawns or not. I told him, okay. So I took the number and I called Mr. Muhammad. <laughs> so when I called Mr. Muhammad, I was like, Hello, Mr. Muhammad. Then he he replied to me, Hello, who, who am I talking to? Then I told him my name and was like, I was given a number by the name of that guy. Do you know him? He told me, yes, I know him. I've been working with her sister. So I told him, okay, so now um, on behalf of her sister, uh, we, we need prawns. 200 kilos of prawns 100 red 100 white and we talked because he told me even the amount to ask he told me to ask what is the price and if it is the same price i should tell him if it is the same it has if it has gone up i should tell him also if it has gone down i should also be able to go back and tell him so I asked Mr. Muhammad <laughs> the price and Mr. Muhammad told me the price. Actually, it was the same price that the neighbor told me. So I told him, okay, so we need the prawns by two. So you need to prepare all those prawns and by two we'll be coming to pick them. So guys, I went back and called the neighbor. I told him that, yes, he said the price is this. And he said that around two years, the prawns will be ready. He said, okay, that's so good. That is very good. So he hung up and after like 15 minutes, the neighbor called me again and he told me that, oh, sorry, I forgot something. You should call Mr. Muhammad and tell him to prepare those prawns for, for the transportation of outside the country, like they are going to Europe. 
So we are going to Europe, so he told me to tell him to prepare them that way, the transportation of outside the country, because they are going to be in the airplane to reach Europe, so there is a certain way that they were supposed to be parked. So I told him, I, I, when he hung up, I called again Mr. Muhammad, and I told Mr. Muhammad, you need to pack those prawns because they are going to be transported to Europe. So they will stay in the airplane for a lot of hours. Mr. Muhammad told me, yes, 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 okay, I'll do that. So he hung up. <laughs> so after that, guys, uh, after 20 minutes, Mr. Muhammad called me and he told me that, but you need these prawns to be packed for the transportation of outside the country but you need the containers i don't have the containers here you need to buy the containers so that i can pack them so i was like but he did not tell me so i was like okay don't worry so i went back and called the neighbor and told him that mr muhammad wants the containers oh my god i forgot yes we need the containers ah how could i forget this so what should we do ah uh, he told me and uh, this is this is a very big problem now what should i do okay you do this uh send 300 euros to mr muhammad so that he can buy the containers because today is sunday and our accountant isn't at work so if the accountant was at work i could have asked the accountant to give me that 300 euros to send to mr muhammad but today he is not the accountant is not at work so you send him your money then when i arrive at two i'll give you that money back when they pay i told him but I don't have the money right now. He told me, no, don't worry. You can even ask for my friend because I'm going to return it today. I was like, ah, okay, let me check. So I, co I talked to my friend, the one we had chit chatting and I told her all about it. And my friend was like, hmm, that is strange. You sending the money for the containers don't you think it's strange? I was like, no, it's not strange. I know him. He was the neighbor. He was my neighbor for a long time. I know him. No, nothing can be wrong. So my neighbor was like, okay. So I, I, I sat down and I started thinking how I can get that 300 euros so fast like that. And... I could not get anyone to give me that money. So I called him again and I told him that uh, I don't have that money and I don't have anyone to give me that money. No, you can even ask like a loan or with interest. When I come, I will pay. I will pay all. I was like, I don't have anyone to give me that money. So he was like, how much do you have? If you have like 50 euros, you can even send it to Mr. Muhammad. So, guys, I had the 40 euros in cash <laughs> at home. <laughs> so I was ready to give that 40 euros to Mr. Muhammad because I really wanted the deal. <laughs> and I called again the neighbor. I told him that I don't have 50 euros. I only have 40 euros. He was like oh okay so let me talk to mr muhammad so that he can accept that 40 euros and wait for us when we arrive then we will pay the remaining amount then i was like okay you talk to him so my friend was like but can you just use your brain if this guy can talk to this mr muhammad <laughs> to accept that amount why can't he talk to him to wait 
until they uh, until they arrive then they pay the whole amount the whole amount of the prawns and for the containers so <laughs> i was like no maybe uh, guys i did not use my sense you know my old senses no i wasn't using them i don't know why <laughs> so <laughs> so but i did not listen again to my friend so in the end he called me and he told me that so you can send me some hamid i've talked to him so <laughs> after hanging up I started thinking again guys now I started using my senses should I listen to my friend then my friend again told me but you listen if you want to use those 40 euros if you just want to throw them like this you just give it to Mr. Muhammad but if you don't want to, <laughs> to lose it you tell this guy that you don't have any money to send to Mr. Muhammad but still you want the deal and listen to what he will have to tell you <laughs> so i decided to call again this neighbor and i told him that sorry i thought that i had the 40 euros but i don't have it but i really want this deal how can we do this <laughs> so he was like uh, but what job do you do right now what where do you work i told him they was like I told him I am just at home, I'm not working at the moment. Like, oh, I see, I see, okay. Then he hung up, guys. <laughs> when he hung up, uh, after like 10 minutes, his phone was not available. And I did not send the money to Mr. Mohammed because I had to listen to my friend and then see what will happen. My friend was very right. They were just trying to scam me <laughs> they're just trying to scam me guys <laughs> him and mr muhammad <laughs> so my friend only continued to joke to me like mr muhammad hello mr muhammad <laughs> guys it is so funny <laughs> but not only me a lot of people have been scammed guys without thinking at all you think like no maybe it's true or you just in a position like you need the money <laughs> so whatever business is brought to you whatever idea is brought to you you are ready to jump into it so that you can get the money i don't blame them at all but i just want to advise you guys be very very careful and whenever a person brings a business or any idea Think of it very careful. Don't just jump into it because you might be scammed, really. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video till now. I really hope you enjoyed. I really hope you felt happy listening to this story of mine. Please, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Share with your friends, family, everyone that you think will enjoy this story and watch my other videos too comment what you think about this video don't forget to subscribe i love you so much and you're always here with me <laughs> until next time ciao ciao Mwah.